This is how I would go about delivering videos to clients via Dropbox. So you would create a new folder titled your client's name. In this case, I'm just gonna have an example of, so I'm just gonna call it Rachel B. Hughes. That is my company name. And that is just the video example that I'm gonna give you. It's gonna take a minute to create this folder. Once it creates, it will auto populate and open me to that folder. Boom. So from my organization video, if you haven't checked out that one, be sure to check out file organization. I have all of my exported videos from a specific month organized. And so what I would do when I'm delivering videos to a client is I would title it the month that we created those videos, I would select all of them, and I would go ahead and upload them to Dropbox. Next, what I would do is I would go into my email and I have a great draft that I just use for all of my client delivery, oops, my client delivery emails. It just says, hey, here's a Dropbox link. So what you're going to do is hyperlink it to the correct folder. So you just, again, click share, create link. The link is copied to my keyboard. And right down here in the attach, I'm going to oops, remove that one. I'm going to link it. Okay, here's the Dropbox link. Select, link it, paste. And then if you do have a spreadsheet, like I have a spreadsheet for all of my clients and for my content specifically, where I said the spreadsheet is updated. So whatever the title of the video is, with the links over to the right of the specific videos that you are uploading so that they have access to the YouTube links as well as the raw videos if they wanna upload them themselves or if they're, maybe these are the Instagram versions of those videos. So that is how I would deliver videos to a client using Dropbox. If you don't know, I'm Rachel. I help creative entrepreneurs launch their side hustle into full-time businesses. If you're interested in more content like that, be sure to check out my channel and I'll catch you later.